Just two years ago, I was between stage four and stage five of chronic kinesis. Now I'm in stage three. I'm not risking dialysis, not anymore. I've reversed my kinesis and I'm lowering my creatinine. How? I've just made some simple changes in my renal diet. Now my kidneys are recovering, my creatinine is going down and eating this uh, very particular superfood was one of the things that helped me the most doing this. Today I will be sharing with you the way I reverse my kidneys. I'll uh, show you the things that I've done to reverse my kidney disease because I'm confident that these things will help you too. Yes, I was in stage 4 of CKD. I was almost on dialysis. Now, today, I'm in stage 3. My creatinine is decreasing. Is how I've done it. Hello, my name is Tony. Tony Bennett and this is Double Kidney. You may be wondering uh, what I'm doing here on uh, Catherine's channel. Uh, well, I'll tell you more about this uh, and more about my story in a moment. For now, let me just ask you a question. Do you know that there's a very common vegetable, a vegetable considered healthy that you probably eat regularly? that uh, causes kidney damage and uh, loss of kidney function. <laughs> this uh, vegetable is uh, actually sending your kidneys into the toxic overload. I'll show you what this vegetable is uh, doing in a moment. Because there's also a very common grocery store item uh, which instantly lowers your creatinine levels. In this video, I show you that uh, just by stopping to eat the dangerous vegetable and, uh, and starting to eat the healthy grocery store item, you can actually start to lower your creatine level. I only discovered these things when I started caring for my own health. For years, I didn't care enough about my health. I work in an hospital uh, and I see sick people every day. I'm not a doctor. Actually, I always did my best to avoid doctors. Uh, don't do that, by the way. Um, until one day, five years ago, I started to feel tired, uh, more than usual. Uh, it's just too much work. I said to myself, I know that kinesis runs in my family, but I'm not gonna get it. And I'm still going to the bathroom uh, just fine, by the way. This is what I was telling to myself. I was too scared to do blood tests, so I let the time pass. Things weren't going any better. I even start to have a metallic taste in my mouth. Then I finally had to do some tests and... Uh, well, I'll never forget the look on the nurse's face when she was taking my blood pressure. I knew her very well, she's uh, working at my same hospital and uh, she was so shocked and confused. My blood pressure was not just height. It was 190 over 120. Now, that's incredible uh, because the right number should be 120 on 70, so you can understand how strange this was for a person my age. I was not even in my 40s. We took the test with two different pressure monitors because uh, we thought that the first one was broken, uh, but it wasn't. Uh, obviously, I got tested for a uh, creatine level 2 as a uh, chronic kidneys or in my family. This was the first time I had a blood test since I think uh, 2010. My GFR and creatine were perfectly fine in those years. Well, you can imagine my shock when I was told I had the stage 4 chronic kidney disease. Uh, the nurse, she was talking to me like I would have no life in the near future. 
I really thought he, she was joking at first or uh, that she was just trying to scam me to an healthier lifestyle. Then she shows me the numbers. My creatine was 5.3 and uh, I only had 19% remaining kidney function. It took uh, several weeks for me to, you know, overcome the stage of denial. For the first time in my life I was scared of the future. I have a family, I have kids to care for. Uh, how was I going to take care of them? When I wasn't even able to work anymore. Okay, let's get to the point now. You are all here to know what tell me reversing my kidney disease. You want to know how I have done it. I know very well why our doctors think reversing kidney disease is impossible. But I'm here to tell you that this is just not true. I'm living proof that this is not true. I had a lot of time to spare in the period when I was preparing for dialysis. So I decided to start doing some researches online to try and figure out things for myself. This uh, is maybe the best thing I ever done in my life. I decided that I wanted to fight this disease, that I wanted to be stronger. I started to actually talk to doctors. Yeah, you wouldn't believe. I Rogis, one of the kidney specialists I was going to, once told me that dialysis is uh, just the western way of doing it and uh, not always the right way. This made me think. I start to explore uh, holistic medicine remedies. I start to read about Ayurveda and the traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, I discovered this YouTube channel, Double O Kidney. Have you watched Michael Wright's videos, by the way? I watched them, I learned a lot from those videos. I'll tell you what, some of the herbs I've discovered help me alleviating a lot of my problems. Uh, swelling, fatigue, inability to sleep, uh, all of this can be cured. And obviously there's more. If you give your kidneys a way to regenerate themselves, they will do just that because they are genetically programmed to regenerate themselves. So, give the kidneys all the nutrients they need, remove all the toxins, and your body will do the rest. You know, the kidney is the only organ in the whole human body that can actually regenerate itself completely. This is what they discovered in a recent study about stem cells. The kidney can actually regrow its cells faster than any other organ in the body. It's clear why. If we think about it, uh, the kidney is constantly fighting a battle against organ damaging toxins. You need this great ability to recover because it's uh, constantly in contact with uh, all the harmful toxins we put in our body. But this means that as soon as we remove the cause of the problem, can start to regrow its cells. And not just telling you this, uh, there are studies. When I started doing researches, I found out that my healthy diet was putting a great strain on my kidneys. I ate a lot of foods that I didn't even know were dangerous. You see, when I started trying to improve my kidney health uh, by myself, I just added as many veggies as I could to my diet. Things started to go from bad to worse. I had to find out by myself that some of these healthy veggies and food I was eating were actually doing more art than good. Corn, winter squash, olives, lentils, all these foods that might seem healthy are actually acidifying and can increase your creatinine level. As soon as I removed them from my renal diet, I started to feel better. This is how you can tell that you did something good for your kidney health. You just start to feel better. Then I start to eat raw organic celery. And I'm also juicing it every day. I drink the juice first thing in the morning. Yes, it helps lowering creatinine. And its effects on the body are quite astounding. 
raw organic celery juice is proven to calm chronic inflammations. Inflammation is the root cause of uh, any disease ending in itis, actually. You know, for example, uh, arthritis is the inflammation of the joints, hepatitis uh, is the inflammation of the liver, nephritis is the inflammation of the kidneys. So, foods and herbs that uh, can lower inflammation can actually help with kidney disease. There's a polyacetylene in uh, celery, a compound which is a natural uh, anti-inflammatory. Celery is also loaded with uh, all the essential vitamins and uh, minerals our body needs to recover. That's folate, uh, vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin B6, leutolin. Leutolin is what actually helped me with my skin problems. Yes, celery is just uh, unbelievably healthy for our kidneys. But what is uh, really helping me in uh, lowering my creatinine uh, levels day by day is uh, its alkalizing property. I want to spend just a few more words on why the acid alkaline balance of the body is so important for our kidney health and creatinine levels. First of all, there are scientific studies proving that an alkaline diet lengthens our lifespan. Yes, you live more if you eat more alkalizing foods, like celery, and less acidifying foods. This is because alkalizing foods can prevent and cure chronic diseases, especially kidney disease. The kidney is the organ that's actually supposed to keep the acid alkaline balance of the body. And this is a lot of work, if you ask me, for an organ that's already impaired. So, let's say that you eat a lot of uh, red meat, a lot of cheese and uh, a lot of hydrogenated fats. And maybe you drink some coffee too. How do they call this? Uh, ah yes, the standard Western diet. I did this for the first 40 years of my life. Not even my doctor ever told me it was actually damaging my kidneys. I mean a stick with a side of lentils and a cup of coffee. How bad can it be? But it is. It is bad. All these foods are acidifying and even just the fact that you are eating a lot of them, the quantity you eat, makes the body even more acidic. This is why I'm drinking celery juice. Celery is the most alkalizing food you can find. Now, there's another thing I want to share with you. Uh, here it is, I have it on my phone. I have it on my phone because uh, I want to have it uh, always with me. This is not just a simple book, it's not even just a program. It's something that can completely change your life, like it has changed mine. This is from the doctor that helped me reverse my kinesis, he created it. I got to talk to him uh, during my journey to reverse kinesis, he told me this. Tony, you will have to fight every day to conquer kinesis, but I've seen people doing it. Yes, this is actually where I found most of the advice that gave me the chance to heal my kidneys. Now, if you are here, you watch this video till this point, you definitely already care about your health. But maybe you can still use some help. So, I'm leaving this here. The link to find exactly this, the same program that helped me. You just have to click on the picture. See you next time. Thank you for watching.